Just in the back door. Oh, the Kendrick goes in? Oh, he's fine? He didn't dodge the... Not ult. She ulted. She says it's GA, so it doesn't matter. Oh my god. He he killed them all. He actually just, he actually just wiped them. What the fuck? This guy's too insane. Wait, he won. Versus Hextech Soul. Hey guys, Carter here. With a pro game, actually. And it's a game that happened in LPL. And there's a Kindred. And I wanted to watch this guy play it. And the meta right now is shifting towards very a carry heavy style because champs like Senate here are being played again. Azir is very nice to have as a carry jungler. And just Ash, Nico, like champs like this enable carry junglers to be played a lot more. And lanes, so well, top lane seems to be very self sustainable now, and you want to play through ball lane a lot. Well, that's just like most metas, I feel like. But yeah, uh, this team. This jungler apparently is a, a prodigy, and he's like uh, a new version of Bo. And if you guys don't know who Bo is, you can search him up. He's like LEC player, very insane. Came in, came from China. His debut was legit, one of the best debuts you probably would ever see on FPX. He, him, and Doin B like he would legit move on every game. This Bo guy, and apparently Milky Way is the same type of. Player is very insane mechanically and he will just moving on the game. So we're gonna just look at his gameplay, try to analyze it and see the game through his eyes, and let's see what happens this game. So he has red smites. I think that's just something very popular in eastern regions. They actually just like the extra damage that they are given with this smite. And he has Conqueror, which is a uh, Ideal. Conqueror is the most consistent rune you can have on this champion. You can't ever actually go wrong with it. You can be a PTA Andy, but uh, it doesn't scale as well as Conqueror. The Conqueror healing. Oh, we see his runes right now, actually. He has Alacrity, Cut Down, Treasure Hunter, Sudden Impact. And the reason why he went Treasure Hunter instead of Relentless Hunter, as people suggest like for your solo games, is because in competitive, players are generally more controlled. So, you actually need income more than anything as a drone and competitive because your resources are lower than laners. But in Soliki, like, like laners int, tend to int, and you just get very big gold advantages out of nowhere. But it doesn't really happen as much as in competitive. So, whatever gold you can get as a jungler is like very nice. So, he's opting for to have extra gold than having out moves to be combat, but that's because. The game circumstances are very controlled, so there shouldn't be random stuff happening on the map. So they know he started topside because of Aatrox warding level 1 before his lane started. And then Sejuani should get found out soon with Ash Hawkshot. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so now they know Sejuani's path pretty much. If they count her camps. But they don't know if whether she did wolves or gromp, but should I mean should be assumed that the person has done wolves with the path of that. So the only we did that path to dodge that ward. You see Kindred just doing a standard full clear. Pretty uh slow game right now. Let's see if he wins the scuttle flip. Oh, such always looked to invade, and the kindreds on the blue. I would ward this bush right here if I was him. Like, uh, yeah, he's doing it. Yeah, I I always ward this bush when I clear. He doesn't lose this one v one. Nice. I always ward that bush. Oh, now you can go through mid. Nico's very insane champion for playmaking early. He basically has double marks. For free now. Something's helping bot. Yeah, that that shouldn't really be happening in this matchup, but it's okay. So now he's actually giving you two marks. Because he knows the next mark would be on uh next crab. Because this uh Grom should be taken in time, usually, because the it would usually be respawning. So it can only be on the bot crab or the raptor camp.
Let's see what he opts in doing. Oh, he's just going to do clear. He's just going to keep clearing, I guess. Oh, we should talk about his matchups, I guess. Uh, well, his matchup is very uh, favored for him. Free scaling matchup. Top matchup. I think Aatrox is very OP right now. Strong laner. So it's probably Aatrox, more Aatrox heard. Maybe it's 60 40 or something. Because I don't think you can find angles later on. Mid, I think Azir just hard skills, but Nico has a lot of pressure in early mid game. Just has a lot of like stats in her. It's like karma. Like it just pushes promo and then uh, has a lot of playmaking. Which Karma doesn't have, I guess. Then you have uh, Ezreal Ash, close to Renata. Pretty Ezreal Ash favored, I would say. The marksmen are just OP. So he's just getting grubs now. They know uh, Sejuani just did ball crap, so his grubs are all his. Which is very good for him, because he should be able to secure all his camps. All his camps should be defended, so he gets to just full clear again. It's not really prioritized in playing for marks. I wonder if it's because his ball lane botched their lane. Because if the ball lane just kept pressuring, then it should be should have been really easy to play for a 2 3 mark. Could have easily played for bot mark and then clear up, then play for the Grand Prix spawn. And having Ash with Kindred is like disgusting because you just know the jungle's path. And you can plan ahead your your plan way uh, way earlier because you have pretty much full information and you can actually just get ahead just by playing for marks. And such only has bot pro, so they should just take the pink and leave. It's just the pink trade. It's just a normal game. He's not too stressed about marks. As long as you get four in the game as Kindred. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, his bait almost worked actually. That was crazy. They're helping Balling retake Vision so they can play their lane normally. Now it's Blue Sod's turn. Red Side used their turn to retake Bot Side Vision. Kindred's just full clearing again to the words Top Sod. I don't think. I think he's going down the, to cover bots. Yeah, he's he's going down. So it looks like he must cover bot one time. Sejuani is just trying to be really annoying. He knows uh, he has to make the play this game or he'll get outscaled. But like comp wise, like, I would say it's pretty... I think Blue Sector outscale this game. Because Ronaldo's very, Ronaldo and Azir are very good into like this kind of kindred type draft and Aatrox, I'm pretty sure full without Aatrox mogs this game. Like he one shots anyone on enemy team. Nazir is just the king. Late game carry. Is that Mark? I oh, know he didn't get it. Oh, it's Honda Gromp. That blows. He thought it would be on the grub. The top's fighting. I guess he doesn't want to take too big a risk playing for Mark's uh, a lot more this game. Because Nico is very strong in early game, but... And I'm pretty sure Cassante at this timer is like equal strength to Aatrox, possibly. So I feel like he should try to invade more. But maybe doesn't want to make the game too uh, unstable. Oh, he's going Collector. It's nothing... Uh... It's not that much happening in this game right now. Pretty slow game. You can see like the Kindred after clear or from uh, every time she recalls always goes through mid. You always have to go through mid and group over the team. Play with your boys like I talked about in the Kindred guide. Also like Cassante is just a griefer. I feel like his ult angles are so bad. Yeah, now he goes back to his camps, he'll do his camps, and then he'll do the same thing again, he'll go through mid. Because you are the DPS, and you just need to play with your CC in your front line. Yeah, he helps them push mid. And now it's Boost Hut's turn again. Like, you should just treat the game as, like, turns. One team has a turn, as soon as they use it, and you recognize it, you're the enemy team. Well, it'll be their turn. 
as you keep stopping close to base with ults. Wait, his cogs are up? Wait, you know what? Never mind. Looks like something happening bot side. So he's running straight down. He just wants to get some income before the next strike. They can be on sub point if they get this next dragon. Looks like they might make a play on this Nico. That was very good. Yeah, you see Kindred going to come into camps and everyone's defending. Her income matters a lot in this game. I assume her builds will be either Collector into Cleaver or Collector into Lord Dominix. Either or is fun. He needs some kind of armor shred, armor pen this game. Oh, Nico got caught. Yeah, I don't know why Nico burns on us here. Even if this Nico lives. Burning Zonia doesn't flash, it's like not even worth it. It's actually just better to die and just have max uh, conditions for the next fight. Like, now he just he doesn't have Zonia's, and which could matter in the next skirmish or next big team fight. But they uh, ended up trading uh, mid tower tier 1, which is very good. Now Ezreal can play very up and get pro in the mid lane. And it could be harder for Blue Side to go through mid for pro for neutral objectives. Okay, that's some enemy for dragon spawn. They're gonna start controlling vision so they can keep playing this pocket. You can play like the mid pocket into river to uh, just keep poking and get in pro mid. They want to get the streak, so Let's see. He has a long sword with his pickaxe, Dirk. So I assume that's for. I mean, he could go into cleaver or Lord Dom's. So don't know. Those are just throwing Q in Africa. Oh my god. Um, they're controlling pretty well. Though Aatrox is uh, a havoc in the saw lane right now. I feel like Kindred is not that strong right now. Starting to pull the Drake. Yeah, they're bowling so let's go through bot side. Oh, I feel like this is so wrong. I feel like it should be Azir with the bot side. And Aatrox should be flanking. I think they get this dragon, which is very good. Nice. There might be a fight. Looks like they can pick off. Oh wow, they all dodge the Renault all those are very good by them. Let's just look at Kindred. You should one shot this guy. Oh my god, uh, uh, Aatrox damage. Yeah, no, that's that's balanced, for sure. Kindred almost done. Because he j does have no armor, but like, holy shit, this Aatrox. Well, he's pretty fun. He did get a tier 2 just now, so he has a lot of gold on him. I mean, that's pretty good Drake take by them. Now there are soul points, and Kindred can actually scale. You can give the next two dragons if uh, they want to scale a bit more and get more gold on the Kindred. Because she does need three items this game, I feel like, to really carry this game. Let's look at it one more time. I mean, they just can't play. Especially after Renaro gets dodged. Oh, what the fuck? They're doing Baron on blue side right now. They're just flipping it. I feel like Kindred will steal this now. If they actually commit. But they do have close though, so... Maybe it's hard. Oh, he's gonna steal it. Oh, he's gonna steal it for sure. Oh, look at him, look at him. Oh my god, close to running. Wait, it's actually his, it's actually his. Holy fuck, he stole it, he stole it, he stole it. Did he win the foot? Oh no. Bro, you see the Cezero? He could eat over the red wall, but he eat in. 
I mean, well, uh, well, I mean, uh, this guy's fucking bad, I guess. In the Oakdown. Well, they got Baron, anyways. Not bad. That should be very good. I feel like uh, FPX balling are just completely underperforming. Maybe without this strong one, they actually just bought into here because uh, the Korean balling. That was a really good ash out there, actually. And got crisp off guard. Oh, but he lived there. Ooh, and then Ash got sold by Aatrox. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I guess Clista thought Drone will smite when she runs. That is a good flip, I guess. Okay, I mean, it's a flip on other. I mean, it's more. It should be more in favor of Boost out together, Baron, if both AD and Drone are on the same page. Oh, AD's oh, real support's caught. My AD. Well, oh, the Baron push is over now. Is it that? They just have to go 10 2 waves and just wait. No, it looks like they still want to pressure, even though their support's dead. They don't care. Oh, that's probably because Ezra got poke. Oh, wow. What? Wait, did he. He went near one. Uh, I feel like he knew he went outside, but it's okay. Yeah, I think they want to push because. Uh... Oh, he also got a mark, which is nice. I think he's at five marks or six marks. Oh? Oh my god, this is disgusting actually. Like this Renato ult and Aatrox flank. That's what I'm talking about actually. Very hard, uh it's not like Red Side can easily win this. Like they need to win like early mid game. Like they were playing for fast soul before blue side skills in time. Like blue side with like four items each or like definitely should outscale this game. I would be very surprised if Red Side comes back from this game state. Not gonna lie. I feel like Blue Side is a lot stronger now. Yeah, nothing else happened. They just traded Baron, or they traded 4th Dragon for Tier 2 top lane. Mm. Playing for mid push into Baron. I just saw a clip of uh, Dioke down, like, completely running down somewhere here, I think. He has, what, six marks? Oh, shit. Oh, he has LDR. Now he should go IE into a GA. Probably makes the most sense. Unless he thinks BT is better in GA. GA is nice though, because you can uh, ult and still have your GA, and even if you die after your ult procs, like, you're just gonna be in GA. Maybe uh, it just sways the fight. Now he actually does damage, he has Lord Doms, and he's cut down too, so he has a lot of value, especially with Tank Azir. Azir has a decent amount of HP from Grasp. So Juwani is just tanky, Aatrox is pretty high level. I assume Cluster has conditioning overgrowth. As we eat into the Sejuani ult, okay. Should be careful if we're not ult here, yeah. Should probably just want to target to and be careful H- Oh my god! Bro, that Aatrox just one-shot that guy. You see that? Holy shit. Q3'd and like 80% of Kindred's HP bar, I'm pretty sure. Straight up one-shot. My god. I need, I need to see a replay with that. Poking. This guy ease into such one ult, it's okay. Santi's blocking as well. Oh look, 80% Z. <laughs> oh shit. 
Wait, they're doing Baron again on blue side. I mean, man, I would be so surprised if Red Side can win from this game state. I'm uh, pretty sure blue side outscaled already. Don't see how Red Side can win. There's another fight. They have Baron, but they should play for this Hexex Soul. Then the game can be winnable for Red Side. Aatrox is behind them. It's so actually so hard to fight this. I think they're gonna send it on the Aatrox. I think it's a bounty, right? I mean, at least they get a bounty on the Kindred. Though two hex like uh, Drakes is pretty huge. CDR and attack speed, pretty insane for champs like Callista and Nazir. Even the CR for Aatrox is pretty fucking insane. This game is pretty long, so let's see how it goes. Yo, I think it's about to happen, guys. Like, I'm not even joking. This is what you would call a, a win trade. I haven't seen it yet, so it has to be now. Are we ready? Are we ready? Again, mid control for both neutrals that are spawning. Let's just look at the kindred. Oh, he has IE, actually. I told you, man. He's full glass counting kindred. My goat. This guy probably has no faith. Over I mean, he does, He is the main damage dealer of this comp. As drills for the mid game, and he's the uh, late game insurance as kindred this game. So, building like this is completely fun. If you had a hyper AD carry, I would probably... What the fuck did Ezreal just do, man? And he flashed like that too? Bro, that's a WT. This is like your classic solo queue AD carry running down like that. And Cassante just dies because of his uh, teammate's mistake. My god. Sieging their base right now. Let's see. Just watch the kindred. It's awesome HP. It's okay though. He needs to you just keep watching Nico. That was a very good zone by Nico. Okay, we're not just down. It's their time to fight actually. They should look to fight here. Oh nice, you should one shot Aatrox here. They need to kill the Aatrox before you watch Oh my god, okay. You're taking the gates. They should uh, circle around them here. So Sedgwan just dips the fuck out. Well, he for sure has like seven marks right now. Oh, close to flash. That's huge. Nico will have some for the dragon too. Because uh, she has CD boots and cosmic insight, I assume. So her summoner CDs are very low. That's huge for uh, Red Sword. They can actually try to get Soul here. It's not looking good. Uh, I don't see how they can get past this uh, blue side control. Because you should put Tower here, I think, if he has it. He should have it, I think. And then the Aatrox controlled this bot side. Like, how did he get to the Dragon, actually? I feel like blue side will get Soul here. Man, do you, do you see blue side comp having four hexer tricks? How crazy that would be! Like, this is zero is Thanos. He has so much attack speed in CR for free. Yeah, there's no way they burn this dragon legit in two seconds with Costa and the zero. They're just giving it, actually. I'm pretty sure they should death uh, death bush. Like game should feel very bad right now for them. Oh, what do you know? It's like actually nothing to do. You kind of need to flip it. And yeah, red team should uh, just, or blue team should just stay grouped. 
And red team should just keep picking a bush and cheesing. It's fine for Ezra to push man. Delays the blue side push. Red side would want to play for Elder, ideally. But it's hard. Oh. They got such. Oh nice, they got a flash. Actually, not bad. She still has ult though. At least Ash ult is low CD. They're just gonna 5-5 five, five in. They want Blue Sun not to be able to push into the base. Actually, nice. It's Baron spawning right now. I feel like a zero Natrox can legit go end the game backdoor. Play the burn the Baron. You should get it, I think. Bro, they should play for. I feel like the blue side should just let Sejuani and Bali just stop the bases and they back the door. Oh, the Kindred goes in? Oh, he's fine? He didn't dodge the Renata ult. She ulted. She says it's GA, so it doesn't matter. Oh my god, he he killed them all. He actually, he actually just wiped them. What the fuck? This guy's too insane. Wait, they won versus Hextech Soul. Bro, what? Wait, he actually just won. Hey, game's over. This piggy can't stall the fucking wave. Nah, this guy's too good, actually. He actually saw the angle and picked off the Azir. Literally insane. Yeah, the end of the game, actually. Okay, I can see why this champion is permanent versus this guy. And if he doesn't get Kindred, he plays Graves, so... Honestly, very respectable player. Actually, can learn a decent amount from him. They actually won versus Hextech Soul. It has to be just insane. This guy's a legend. Right. If you guys like more of these kind of videos, let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. GG's.